more characters for Slay the Spire would be cool. They take a long time to make, though. It takes a long time to make a good Slay the Spire character. There are lots of modded characters. If you just want some variety. I have a modded Slay the Spire character. You could download it and play it. The Chuckling Adam thinks the 10 months. Fetso John thinks the 7 months. Are any of the modded characters good? It depends what you mean. Are they as good as Defect? No. Are they as good as Watcher? Yes. <laughs> well, sometimes. Gotta pick between left side and right side. Let's take Transforms and then decide. I'll try Love Transforms on Ironclad. I'll just Boss Relic swap. Pyramid. Very early Pyramid. Okay. What does that mean for my path? We just go left side and maybe don't take this Elite. Just go this way, I think. Easiest flex in the world. You just need to reduce the energy cost of your duck, at least until you can generate more energy. So flex and anger are very good early pickups. Absolutely, Plum Bob. Absolutely. I got three upgrades. I could upgrade Bash, Flex, and True Grit. potion there. Would an upgraded setup be good here? That might be pushing it a little bit too far. But it would be better here than most other situations. How about that? Not a lot of incredible cards being added to this deck right now. I just took five hallway fights and got like three commons. Yeah. 
Oh, that's not even lethal. Fuck. <laughs> the next turn is right, because Thunderclap and 27. Demon form. My oh my oh my oh my oh my. I think I take it for Hexaghost. It's also good against Lagavulin. Okay against Sentries, maybe. I have this one for Sentries, so Sentries isn't that bad. Farm be better if the upgrade reduced cost. Uh, I don't know. It would depend if you had a snack away or not. Depends if your deck needs more energy or not. Energy upgrades are more about whether your deck has enough energy than they are about the actual card. Yeah. I think I'll take Uppercut. It's nice to get the Toxic Egg. I wish I was offered a skill after it. That Horn Cleat's insane. Oh, the Horn Cleat's so good, but the cards are so good too. <laughs> Finesse is really good. The Shrug is really good. The Havoc isn't bad. Fourteen block. I'm giving up fourteen block on turn two. What a crazy person I am. my potion I think I have to draw flex. Nice. Mm. 
That fiend fire. That fiend fire. All that fiend fire. Am I taking disarm over fiend fire? Really? Am I really doing that? With a finesse, there's no possible way. I can take not fiend fire here. There's just no possible way. It goes infinite by itself. Yeah, it basically goes infinite by itself. Yeah, this has to be fiend fire. Oh, no, right, Nocturne Hub Bait. Oh. I want to uppercut next turn. I guess just get this out of my hand. I think I can take Fusion Hammer with Toxic Egg. I definitely have upgrades I'd like. It costs me a bunch of max HP because I don't get the upgrade feed. But that's only if I don't rest at every campfire. And it's not impossible that I'm just resting at every campfire for a while. Runic Dome's very bad here. Philo's down. Feels like I'm struggling to block. Fire doesn't exactly combo with feed. That's okay. A little upset I don't have a horn clate. Let's see how things are at this node, and then decide on right or left. It's worth it to take a look with offering. Costs me six current HP, but gives me a decent chance of getting a feed. I think if I get a feed there, it's a good trade. Both of the skills are incredibly good. This one, I think.
Mm, I regret using flex. I have regrets. Seven. I can use flex potion for three max HP. I don't think it's good here. The cleave isn't that bad. It's also not that good. I think I have the fire potion. I'm probably okay. King Jaxed is not awful. But I think Transforming 2 is better, because the strikes are really bad. Actually, all of my basics are really bad, but I'll keep the defense in case I get Corruption. That was a double tap plus and a drop kick. <laughs> That's... <laughs> That's pretty good. That's... I've just become infinite, basically. Man... I might be meant to take this. <laughs> Literally just got rid of two of my strikes. Give up 24 max HP. I have five bites. Still have fusion hammer, of course. toward now. I think the right side doesn't quite work here because I don't get health from this campfire properly. Although it has the most chance of arena, the most chance of apparitions, and it gives me the most elites. So if I don't die on it, it's pretty good. Oh, let's try the right side, actually. Why not mutagenic strength? The transforms are just much better there. I don't think it's actually very close. Fresh pineapple. It is a four energy runic pyramid, so I can take shockwave. Shockwave shrug plus or something. True grid over shrug. Less block, but you got the Feel No Pain and Dark Embrace Energies later, and the Infinite is real. The Infinite's super real in this deck. I wouldn't mind that Bloodletting at this point. So weirdly, it's sort of okay to take damage here.
don't know that I want to take that much damage. Feed on the minions, cannot feed on minions. A gremlin leader counts. Arcade is a little bit worse with Runic Pyramid because we get to hold our block cards until the turn we need them. It is a very powerful card. The thing it does is just very strong, but... I don't know, it feels okay to take Barricade here. I get to 5 energy pyramid, it's probably pretty solid. I have feed. I think I take it because I have feed. Huh. And mummified hand. <laughs> Weak on turn 1 or lose next relic. Lose next relic could kill me, right? I actually lose the run if I lose next relic because there isn't a chest between me and the heart fight anymore. Still had double tap. 27 and 21. Should get feed next turn. Should get feed next turn. Burning Pact Plus, or Dual Wield Plus. So I don't need Dual Wield for anything other than Feed, really. Although it's very strong with Mummified Hand and Powers, if you ignore the fact that the powers I have right now don't work with it. Burning Pact puts us infinite faster, which is certainly okay. It's going to be good on turn like 1 and 2. Yeah, dual wields the card that's good for ridiculous things, and burning packs the card that's good for not dying on turn one and two. I'm gonna go for the ridiculous things. 
We're early enough in the run that dual wielding feed is pretty real, I think. Unless weird things happen, this should be 9 max HP. Hey, Fikadzikstasa. One, two, three, how are you? Feels like saying red should be relevant somewhere for some reason. Tap cost zero. Good, the gremlin leader's not attacking. Next turn, an attack is guaranteed unless I. Fire potion. Seems worth it to fire potion. Get attacked anyway. There's no justice. Probably wasn't actually worth it to fire potion. Because I can just rest anyway. Just keep the potion. Plus it's not like that attack was so scary. got a weak potion, so it's all okay. Recall now, I think. I shouldn't ever die in this fight. Especially turn one demon form seems pretty good. Uh, you're 
my hand a little bit here so I can keep drawing cards. Thanks, Iron Tree. You can hold on to feed probably for a while. Seems okay. I'll have it back now. The optimizations become very, very, very tiny at this point. We're talking about like one health at the start of next act, basically. So, 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 I mean, okay. <laughs> um, and Dora's box is pretty good here. Sozio is completely fine. Our potions are pretty good. I'm still happy to take Corruption, at which point the defend stopped being an issue, so I think I take Sozu. When I take Sozu, I get to take more cards like Shrug and Burning Pact, which is nice. Pretty quickly makes up for having the basic cards in the deck. I do have Mummified Hand still. I don't know. Well, Sozu lets me do dual wield reaper things a little bit more easily. There's a real reason to take Sozu. Hey, Farnix. Most reasonable things win from here. Don't really want to go to any campfires this act, but it looks like I have to go to one. Unless I want to give up elite fights, which I would rather not. I think I start at this store, and then if it's really bad, I can go to this store as well. And I take two campfires, and if this store is good, I can go this way and take one campfire. It really feels like more card draw would be good. Reading feed or thinking critically about the situation for about two seconds will tell you whether or not I can get infinite health right now.
can get Max off, though. That's no problem. Feel no pain. Yup. Thread needle is a little bit late to the party. I can still take it. There's nothing else that's better that I'm gonna spend my money on right now. Ha. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> yeah. That one's good. Okay. Lord Adroli. Find dual wield. Dual wield, my friend, please. The exploder is about to go explodies. You are still not here. the bid price in the George postcard right now the bidding the maximum donation we should say is $74 total for the stream he's still life your personal place in history the first George's pissed card ever printed think about how much that will be worth five years from now seriously think about it this is a collectible item Thing. <laughs> Those who do not dare to dream big risk not dreaming at all. Michael Scott. Okay. Shall I take the ride? Probably. This is presumably what I have an Omomori for. Pummel <laughs> seems like a good card here. Does it? Does it? Does it? Okay. 
When was the last time we played Fiendfire? Very long time ago. I oh, actually there's a way for me to play Fiendfire here. Check this out. This is actually pretty cool. I can go dual wield on feed. One of them doesn't fit in my hand and goes into my discard pile, and then I can fiend fire. Is that helpful? I don't know. It's like sort of cool. It's neat. Clears my hand. It's like, it's hard for anything to be helpful in this fight because all we're doing is sitting here for like five turns until we can feed and there's no risk of ever having anything bad happen. So what would it even mean for something to be helpful here? I don't know. Second wind, good. Double True Grip plus already into Fiend Fire. It's not incredible, but it's probably not terrible. I have no idea whether I'm meant to take it or not. I have 121 health and like Reaper dual wield. Feels like the worst thing it does is get in the way of dual wield Reaper, which is strong enough to win the game. So why do something that might get in the way of that? of those twice. Ow! Did everything right. Oh yeah, you're just you're just attacking me. Okay. Ow. What does this say about the Reptomancer fight, actually? Seems sort of terrifying. Fortunately, there are no burns in my discard pile. We got that going for us. less than feed somehow. Wait, does it? Meat on the bone. Now we're talking. I don't think this deck needs a bloodletting. I think it needs a burning pact. This enemy could absolutely annihilate us. <laughs> like... Unclear that we ever make enough output to survive transient. Oh, well, offering helps.
Get as good a Reaper as I can on the final turn. Or double tap two now or something. But full heals. It doesn't full heal. Oh my. That's concerning. Deck needs a pommel strike. Let's take a pommel strike. Wait, it didn't matter at all. I had to rest at the next floor. Ink bottle, no! I will not be upgrading all cards. Killing Transient does nothing. Doesn't do anything. The Pandora's box is looking really good right now. Here in the future, where we pass the turn without using all of our energy over and over and over again. was available last boss fight. Yep. That's what I'm saying. I should have taken it. Well, should I have? I don't know. I'm going to win the f run with like a thousand health left over. So maybe it doesn't matter if I take it or not. This gives me something to do at a campfire. Sort of neat. Like a shrug plus. Seems alright. Play dual wield this time through the deck. Maybe lots of wounds. Three? Not that many, I guess. Okay, I get to go Thunderclap Reaper next turn. strong. Cans of Miller Light is going well. Yum. 
Darkstone Periapt. We take another shrug. Get a store, even if we don't want it. We could buy Potion Belt to go with my Sozu. I think I like Warcry Card Remove. Feels like this deck does a very strong thing, but it's struggling to draw it. So. That feels like the way to make us slightly better at drawing it. Warcry really worth spending money on. I'm not sure what card is actually worth spending money on. I'll just like remove a card next door as well. There is Dark Shackles, but I have so much health that it doesn't matter, I think. in the deck. Looks like that's a no. Unfortunate. Actually, no. Okay. Wield has definitely been pulling its weight. Hey, I get to bottle offering. That makes this deck better. I think I like this card. to find out. to be a man. Yes, technically I am. is. Sounds like a Shania Twain song. Oh. Some classic Flight of the Concords. I will take another Reaper. 
if I must. If you insist, let it be so. into slaves. Oh, I don't actually have a uh, demon form in play. <laughs> Maybe I should be a little bit more concerned than I am right now. Max HP in a run is how much? 300 and... How much? I don't remember how much it is. It's pretty high. 306. It does seem like a big number. that I played feed a lot of times and also probably got max HP from other things. HP doesn't do damage, so it's a useless stat. Probably true. Why would you want a stat that didn't deal damage after all? I'm sort of enjoying the Sozu energy right now, but on the other hand, yeah, I'm not sure that it matters at all. It feels sort of like the fight would be won without it too. Eh, I could get awkward cleaning out my hand and stuff over and over again. Any of the old powers? 
Oh, well, all I can do is keep drawing as many cards as I can, and eventually we'll go and play. There you go. That's one of them. form. I guess I could. I was gonna just do wield Reaper or Feel No Pain or something. Barricade, also a legal play. A lot of good options, as we're discovering together here. Quite proud of you all. Slime also technically a thing that we could do. You got 306 HP is like you get feed from the whale and you get a dual wield immediately. And you probably get a singing bowl and a mango at some point and some events that give you health. I feel like that could actually be sort of cool, Hurricane. The FTL quest pattern. I like that idea. A baton, a panic. Wow, I didn't realize Jorb spoke French. Never assume you know everything about someone. You might be surprised. I could dual wield Whirlwind and play it multiple times. I'll say that's probably an okay start. It's just a little bit spooky because I take this damage and then I can't heal it back very easily. Because there's only 75 HP worth of stuff to hit left in the fight. If I have to, like, play attacks and things, I could have some issues. No feed, but that's 
fine. That's okay. Exume is an offering. Offering seems good. Form turn one. Very nice. I could have dual wielded it. Oh no. Oh no. I could have dueled that as well. What am I doing? Nobody's sure. Still no barricade. I think, unfortunately, I'm just gonna play feed here to get it out of my hand. It's okay. Gain a zero block. Oops. Yeah, rest in peace, plated armor. Barely knew ye. managed to go between you gaining health and you getting the armor from Feel No Pain. How is that reasonable? <sighs> I don't know about that. I've been playing for six hours and I have four heart kills already today. This is easy. God. What an easy challenge. 100 heart kills in 30 days, aka work 6 hours a day. Not so bad, not so bad at all.